Welcome back everyone. Today is Monday, June 20th. Hope everybody had a good Father's Day. And for today, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to bring the dozer over here. And I'm going to blade off this area that way, like as what I was doing, just to get this closer to the water level. See, before, when I was worried about building all this up, which was fine anyway for over there, I was worried because that's when the water level was up. That was before I breached the dam. Well, found the beaver dam and then breached it. So really all this can be pushed. I can come down, you can see where the water level was up. Um, so I'm going to push some of this. Then I'm gonna bring the 250 down here and start digging some more of this up and flipping it back just to try to get this whole area um, more even. I'm still going to leave a little bit so I can get out of here um, when I dig all that up. But I've got plenty over here. So that's what I'm going to do right now. All right, here we go. Get a little push in here before we dig up some more. Plus the guy wasn't there for the air conditioning so I couldn't get him to come. So I'd rather be in here. <laughs>
so it doesn't go out into the water. here's an interim shot this is about uh, two hours after I started maybe a little less so I got this corner knocked down back drag this I can do a couple little more but this will get me out there I can get a lot from here I'm still gonna knock this down here but this is now very good for um, digging up so what I'm doing now is I got this corner defined up there so I know where where the dam road so what I'm doing now is I'm pushing all this up to get this part down so I can dig this up as well let's get around here and by the way I love this machine <laughs> So what I'm doing is I'm making some piles this, from down there and then I'm going to come this way and I'm going to push them that way. But you can see, so that's where the, that's where it's going to be and the slope will be there. It still has to come up just a little bit. It's going to be up to about there, so probably another two feet on that. And then this here will be built up but it's working pretty good so I'm definitely gonna have a fair amount left over like I keep talking about but just letting you know so just a little interim shot I'm gonna try to move the camera on the tripod over here so you can get a view um, they just keep overheating outside so let me just do that and we'll get back to it
some good passes here that didn't get filled. Nicely, though. Poor excavator still not getting any attention. Don't worry, it will, because there's going to be a lot of material to be dug up here. I'm able to push a lot of this up without digging, but there's still a lot to dig. I gotta figure out where I'm gonna stockpile it. That's gonna be the hardest part. You hear that noise, that beep beep, that's, that's the Komatsu telling me to put it in economy mode. I always think my camera's shutting off, but it's it has the same sound. Doesn't like you to run in power mode for some reason. Try not to run the camera over.
Okay, here we are in the day. Well, you know, my end of days aren't Chris's end of days. This was uh, probably about five hours, I would say. But, I, <laughs> I, as usual, I changed what I do. Uh, I, I never, uh, I never tend to do what I say I'm going to do. I always change it up a little bit differently. So, what I did do was, in the beginning, I was going to dig up this with the excavator. I was going to blade some of it off, but in turn, I did blade all this off. Blade it even a little bit more off from here. You could see the height difference. And I also got the corner I got the corner pretty much you can see where the, where the dam road will be um, I got it built up just about it might have to go up a little bit more but again I can't tell till I get a little farther down the road I didn't get a laser out um, I'm just going by view I think it's got to come up about another maybe another foot but what I did was I pushed a lot of this back, I figured, rather than move it all the way from back there, or even what I dig up, let me take some of this and build up the end. So that's what I did. And I want to get up here so that you can see. So I've kind of started the slope, and this will be, this will end up being like a valley over here, because this slope is going to come down as well. So that will continue around, but so you can see here, I think it's got to come up maybe a foot. So I did it just so I could drive the tractor on it right now if I want to. This is the diversion trail or what was the diversion trail, which that all has to be built up, which I will use out of there. Um, in this area, I'll just slope it down. I'm not going to build the whole thing up. Uh, the, the creek, the creek trail is around that way. But this will give you an idea. So this is about the width of what it needs to be. I mean, it's much wider. So probably the, I got to hit the thing. So probably right about here is where the dam road will be. And this will be the slope. And it will curve a little bit around because this right here is farther back than it is over there because the creek doesn't go straight. So there's no need to make it 125 feet wide over here. I'd rather have more water. But I'm going to bring it up from there to here. So in here it's still, it's still probably 4 to 5 feet overall average probably five feet uh, average and then the slope will taper around and then I'm gonna take out I'm gonna take out all this right to where the slope will be here and whatever else I have extra I'm gonna stockpile it to uh, to use it for wherever as I've talked about before in other videos so I won't beat a dead horse on that but um, it's getting closer and um, like I said, I once I was on the excavator, I mean, um, I opened the excavator this morning, and I, once I was on the on the uh, dozer, I said, well, I might as well just keep doing that because par partially I didn't feel like sweating. Um, I'm still trying to get the guy to get here to put a new compressor in it. That's what the 250 needs is a new compressor um, and a charging. So then it'll be good to go, and it'll be much better. But... I've almost got this built up over here. I had a few more pushes. I didn't really blade it off nice because there was no need to. Because um, I'm just going to fill it up again. But again, I'm going to show you that float. That float is down there. And that one needs to come out. So soon, this only has to come up just a little bit more for me to get the 250 in there. And I will pull it out between those two trees. I'll have to pull it out. Uh, vertically standing upright so um haven't decided because i don't know if the wood is rotted on that one like it was on the other one but you can see how it's kind of impeding the flow of the water and you can see the sand 
has built up around it so I'm going to uh, get that out as soon as I can and that'll be a good thing but so there's a look going that way so you can see what I'm doing so the next thing I do will be um, um, with the excavator I may I may pull that slope up like I talked about earlier um, and build up the area where the excavator is and the dozer and blade that off and then re-slope it and then dig up what's left so then I know I'll be done with it over there so but again I'm happy with what I got done and that's about all I have to say about that today so again thanks for watching I'll catch you on the next one